I think it was very important uh, to keep the priority and the focus on food security and the issue of hunger. Um, you know, when I was minister, it was the focus when I was minister, some gosh, 10, 15 years ago, uh, the big focus in terms of development was the HIV AIDS pandemic. Uh, and uh, now the focus is on hunger. And I think it's interesting that the Irish government has decided that it's going to allocate 20% of its overall budget to issues and uh, schemes that uh, respond to the hunger crisis in the world and the food insecurity. That's because I think many of our programs in Africa, uh, the Irish official government programs in Africa, and indeed the work of our NGOs from Ireland, um, are in sub-Saharan Africa where there are food insecurity issues um, on an ongoing basis. Uh, we've had famines in Africa, um, uh, but it really uh, Ethiopia and uh, countries which are food insecure uh, ha constantly have a challenge uh, to feed and to put structural um, uh, uh, strategies in place to make sure food is distributed and that there's governance around uh, food distribution. Um, I, I recall visiting um, famine-stricken areas in Ethiopia and noticing that uh, the issue was not the supply of food but the distribution of it and the governance of it um, and that certain areas of the country which were more politically favoured uh, by the government at the time had access to food. So there are huge political issues and governance issues around food distribution uh, and these are the issues that we were tackling today. Um, we were very fortunate to have the UN Special Rapporteur on food, um, Olivier de Schutter, uh, outlining the strategies that are being employed uh, by the UN and the international agencies uh, to, to deal with food uh, security issues and water indeed. But Goethe has from the very beginning, from, since the 1960s, has been focusing on uh, food and hunger and because of our race memory of famine here in Ireland there's always been a very strong identification uh, with the issue of food uh, and hunger and famine unfortunately. Um, so because of our history um, and perhaps despite it, uh, the Irish people have a strong identification with this topic. Uh, we now have the Hunger Task Force which is a major initiative by the Irish government uh, and uh, liaising with international partners uh, to uh, to make the world hunger free uh, and to reach the Millennium Development Goals. Um, uh, at the last summit uh, of the Millennium Development Goals 2010 in New York, a renewed commitment was made by world leaders to uh, put a focus and keep a focus on hunger and the alleviation uh, from starvation.